relevance of education as a tool to reduce poverty and inequalities in Africa is because it is an equalizer that allows young people to be the owners of their destinies. Educational knowledge helps create entrepreneurs and skilled people who can participate effectively in the socio-economic life of their country. One of the main challenges that face our continent um, in terms of education is the issue of poverty, which impacts negatively in education access. Africa therefore needs an education system that, that creates employability and meets the skills and creativity for the future of work. So bridging of the, of the digital divide will enable African children to compete equally with others around the globe. As a response to the educational challenges, access to information and education um, is one of the tools in which we can respond as Africa. Technology addresses these challenges. It is therefore important to work towards bridging the digital gap. This will mean that a student in the rural areas and a student in the suburban areas have access to the same content and same knowledge base. Further, digital education is more interactive. The teacher gets to engage with the work um, set up vibrant and interactive material for the students. The chalkboard method limits understanding and forces students to cram and regurgitate content back to the teacher. The solution that we are talking about rekindles curiosity and learning for understanding with its activities and case studies. This way, Profitura solution allows the student to take ownership of their own learning help build confidence and enhance access to education content beyond the confines of their classroom. The delivery of education um, requires the participation of government and multilateral education, I mean institution, in ensuring that there is a relevant and responsive curriculum that is developed. There's also a need to ensure proper learning environment and in the end, the use of technology for content delivery and access to wider knowledge system. All of these require resources and commitment both from government and multilateral organizations like Profuturo, whilst non-state actors like the Tabombeke Foundation can be a catalyst for such programs as in the case that we are dealing with. The relationship between the Tabombeki Foundation and Profituro is based on shared values and objectives, in particular that African children are not left behind in digital uh, training, and that we make this intervention at an early stage to ensure not only exposure in information technology, but to build lasting confidence even to the rural kids. In the end, we seek to disrupt, if not to end, the cycle of poverty through education. We have already started the practical implementation of the program between the Tabombeke Foundation and uh, Profituro. This has enhanced the interests of the principals and teachers in, the, in digital education, which is key to the success of a program of this nature. Secondly, we have also generated much more interest from the communities around our various schools to be involved in the school activities, including the physical protection of the learning material. And more importantly, this has had an equalizing effect amongst the learners. For instance, one of the students in Paulo Ngobeni Primary School in Pumalanga, who was labeled as a slow learner, and now is the learner that completes all activities on the solution and gets the highest marks and no longer the slowest in class. He has developed such confidence to be able to inquire from teachers and, the, and from his peers 
and be able to question and his learning uh, methodologies have now uh, are now thriving. We are convinced therefore that the partnership between the Tabombeke Foundation and Profituro will provide a necessary for South Africa's future leaders committed to a better Africa free of today's challenges.